Well, earlier in the program, we said we'd show you how to build a complete virtual studio like the one we have here. And we actually filmed ourselves as we were building it. So let's have a look at that now. Here we are putting our virtual studio together. You can see it's a very bland looking office environment and we're gonna just wrap everything in green. So there's the main green screen behind us. And we're even covering the table up because we can turn that into a virtual desk, nice looking desk that we can design later. Here's the Skype VS100 unit to allow us to use Skype conversations, connecting it to the TriCaster Mini with an Ethernet cable, and uh, you can see the TriCaster booting up there. Now this is the interface for the uh, Skype VS100, very easy to use. Cutting very quickly to the tripods. Uh, this is a Miller tripod, lovely sturdy dependable device with a built-in spirit level and uh, we like those very much indeed. Blackmagic studio cameras, really what you can do for the money these days is incredible. These cameras are great, they just work. There's more viewfinder than camera and uh, that's a little Panasonic lens on the front. We use these Blackmagic HDMI to SDI converters because the TriCaster Mini only has HDMI, but that's no problem because you can convert. So there's there's what it looks like. It's all green, just what we wanted. Okay, so the Xilite F8 Fresnels, they're wonderful LED lights. And uh, there's the stand for them, uh, nice barn doors. And they work amazingly well, very controllable, they don't get hot and have a very nice light and they last almost forever. So here's the uh, TriCaster interface itself, we're just going into it. This is going to be familiar to anyone who's ever used the video switching system. There's the virtual studio taking place, that big LCD screen isn't really there, it's a virtual one. These are our layers in Photoshop. So I'm just putting the radio mic on. There's a rather unattractive close-up of my ear showing the ear earpiece. This is when we finished doing some final craft edits. Of course, you can do most of the edits on the TriCaster itself. And uh, this is the finished result. A few more uh, things we've used here. There's a nice teleprompter from Data Video. and. Now, library music, this is fantastic when you're putting together a, a good sounding piece because sound is important as well as video. Audio networks, they have amazing music. Here's Digital Juice, um, they provide stock footage, we use some of this. Using all these resources you can put together something that's, that's really very good looking. The main issue we had with this was we sat too close to the, uh, the green screen. We'll know better next time. These clips and uh, the intros and the outros, uh, they all help you put together a package that looks absolutely professional. So thanks to all the people that lent us equipment for this. Very grateful and we'll be doing the next show soon. Bye. Welcome to Red Shark TV. I'm Dave Shapton. Coming up in the show, 